Hi, my loves. Welcome to one of the most powerful spiritual gateways of our time. February 22nd is going to be one of those spiritual gateways that is going to be very important when it comes to twin flame journey or divine counterpart journey. Now, um, there is going to be that energy of ascended masters. If you add up all the numbers, um, the month, the second month of uh, which is February, and 22nd and also 2022 you're gonna get number three and number three represents uh, the trinity and it also represents the number for ascended masters so specifically this gateway is opening up for ascended masters to be uh, their consciousness to assist twin flames in their mission um, and what spirit is um, showing me is that or telling me is let the mission begin so um and if there is a lot of people that they say twin flames some twin flames they don't come into physical union however this is not something that i'm getting here because um in order for these missions to be accomplished uh, twin flames definitely need and they will be in a physical union together in order to accomplish this this mission otherwise um they would have stayed um you know in 5d and never um incarnated here or reincarnated here on earth in order to assist at these very very crucial times and ascended master consciousness are going to be very close on february 22nd because the energies here on earth are going to be quite intense there is going to be of course or that you guys as you guys are aware there are a lot of um uh, chaos around the world because people are not happy with the so-called status quo or um, or authoritarian establishments now um, this is the energy of the divine masculine feeling that they have been oppressed or they're not being heard their throat chakra is definitely opening up and i'm seeing that a lot of them they're also stepping into their power which is that solar plexus energy so I feel that and as, as I told you guys this before I believe in one of the readings that I did um, quite long time ago about the year 2022 is that it is the year of courage it is a year of choice and as you know it is number six so it's a year of love and we are all faced <clears throat> with two options either choosing from love or choosing from fear so the choice is going to be yours and on february 22nd a lot of ascended masters are going to be here and working with you in your journey in order for all of us to lift up the energies that could be intense that could be negative that could be affecting a lot of um, uh, humanity at this time now um you might be telling yourself how is that going to affect your journey and uh, what spirit is telling me is that for each and every one of you guys that you are uh, watching this or even not watching this doesn't really matter uh, there is going to be assistance okay from higher um, dimensions and especially when it comes to ascended masters um, at this time now uh, what we're going to do today is that we're going to take a look at both the energy of the masculine and feminine uh, from the 5D perspective and we're also going to take a look 3D perspective and I'm also going to um, take a look and see what spirit advice is on the membership side as well so join me there if you are being guided as well uh, but let's start the reading okay so what I'm seeing as the energy of the divine feminine is that uh, divine feminines are right now really um, standing up to their power. I feel that they already had the awakening happening to them and now they are experiencing or witnessing the awakening, a really, really powerful awakening of the divine masculine. And what I'm seeing here is that they are letting them to step also in their power because it's beautiful to see someone in their power as opposed to giving in to people who always um, think or believe they have their best interests at heart whereas they don't and this is the case with a lot of establishments with a lot of governments at this time around the world it's not only one country we are seeing it around the world now this is really happening on a global scale and there are certain parts of the world that has more of these intense energies right now because um, 
the earth is right now <clears throat> going through that transformation and as you guys know um, we are uh, transitioning to new earth and this is uh, this has been a process for quite a long time until we all going to have that um, higher uh, frequency or higher energy frequency of love as opposed to fear and as you guys know the year 2022 is a year of love a year of choice so all of us are going to be faced with either go with love or go with fear now uh, what is happening with the energy of the masculine is that as I said this before too, a lot of them are standing up for what they believe in right now. Their throat chakra is opening up, their solar plexus chakra, and um, a lot of them are, are speaking out of their mind of what they want, of what their um, dreams are about the world that they want to create as opposed to what it is right now. Uh, with a lot of oppression and also with a lot of um, using force, using control, using violence um, against each other. Now, um, let's just start this reading. I know that the introduction was quite long, so um, uh, let's uh, let's just uh, start the reading. We're gonna take a look at it from a 5D perspective first, and then we're also going to take a look at it from a and 3D as well and see what's going on for this very very powerful um, spiritual gateway but as I said I'm saying that ascended masters um, coming to assist twin flames at this time for a lot of twin flames there's going to be uh, physical unions happening because um, there is a mission something else that spirit is mentioning to me is let the mission begin okay it's all about right now the twin flames and their mission which is about to start so it's because of that that a lot of you guys are going to have those physical unions happening like one after another after this powerful gateway all right so let's take a look and see um what are the 5d energies okay we have shambhala and um, initiations wow and we also have the order of um melchizedek uh, Melchizedek. i don't know how to pronounce it oh my god mission uncovered are you kidding me embrace by light don't give up so this is about the mission and this is the energy of the union also this one the shambhala initiation retreating to recharge trusting in the process dharma all right so this is the gateway guys this is definitely a gateway and um, this is the um, 22nd gateway that is opening up and as i said it's all about the mission look at this uh, powerful uh, gateway oh my goodness and i know that a lot of people ask me about this um deck and this one is called this one is by kyle gray and let me tell you guys that this is one of the most powerful um, oracle decks that I have ever worked with, uh, to be honest, or at least it's one of them. It's uh, Gateway of Light Activation. This is by Kyle Gray, all right? A really, really powerful one. And he's, of course, one of my favorite authors. So um, let's see, let's see. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. We are going to get more cards and see what else is going on okay <clears throat> we have the earth star activation okay we also have inner earth we also have the stargate heart heart chakra opening unlocking generosity oh my goodness this is the divine masculine energy this is the divine feminine energy and says anchoring grounded action isis energy all right we also have the inner earth uh, base chakra strength and security laying foundations wow such a powerful energy i feel like divine feminine she's really really empowering that mother earth like connection to the earth grounding the energy whereas the masculine is right now their heart chakra is opening up and also i'm seeing their um, throat chakra as well um, opening up beautifully okay so and also solar plexus we also have stellar gateway activation infinite potential manifestation vortex this is also the energy of the union which is as we know is happening on the 22nd these gateways are opening this special gateway is opening we also have i am presence like body activation accessing the divine within so beautiful oh my god um a very like much of a uh, solar plexus 
energy what else do we have we also have karmic board clearing energetic clearing rewrite your story leave your truth wow oh my goodness guys okay what else we also have um lemurian seed codes embracing sensitivity uniqueness living with grace all right this is the energy of the divine feminine we also have house of um, amenti initiation secrets revealed treasures uncovered initiations oh my god this is crazy this is also the house of amenti are the ones on in atlantis and it was um the one that was um created by um, thought the god of knowledge and the god of wisdom in ancient egypt so and this is this was happening in atlantis okay so let's see what is happening energetically let's take a look and see now what is going on here what i'm seeing as the energy of um um hold on a second guys what i'm seeing here as the energy of the divine feminine let's take a look at her energy and see what what, where is, what is happening here now i feel like a lot of uh, divine feminines as i said they're standing to their power there is um isis the goddess isis is assisting a lot of divine feminines in their mission uh, but in order to bring all of these energies from 5d or from the spiritual realm into 3d um, she definitely needs a lot of grounding which is something that the earth is helping her um, to achieve that now um you see how um you see how she is bringing the energies as above so below or bringing it from above from the 5d to 3d into earth she's grounding the energy right now and this is going to be her role at this time anchoring grounded action isis energy quite of a powerful card so a lot of divine feminines and also divine masculines they've been um, uh, incarnated at the time of ancient egypt or at the time of atlantis or Rem Moria okay either of them are showing up um, especially a lot of um, yeah a lot of Lemurian and Atlantis together the energies are being showed up with the Lemurian seed codes and also the house of Amenti initiation all right now the other thing with the divine feminine here is that I feel like she is um she has been working really hard in her inner world gathering gathering all of her strength gathering like basically creating this powerful and really unshakable um, foundation for herself and this is something that has been happening to her internally okay this is not something that okay she went and she got you know she bought a house although all of these powerful um, foundations that she has been able to um, perhaps secure it or bring that security within are manifesting also as a material things as well like a house like property like i don't know material wealth whatever that it is okay but in order to create all of that she had to go through um a lot of perhaps um uh, difficulties overcoming a lot of obstacles going through a lot of spiritual journeys that has been maybe even sometimes impossible for other people to accomplish especially when it comes to her uh, twin flame journey or divine counterpart journey she needed a lot of strength in order to uh, bring a lot of these energies here on earth now um i feel that for her yes look at this um inner earth meaning that this is um something that it's almost like it's it's the inner world it's her um something that she has been working on for a really long time um and it says base chakra strength and security laying foundation like she's feeling that secure um within herself even like without the divine masculine i feel like she is just right now standing to her power and she has been holding on to it for quite a long time so that the divine masculine is also going to get ready to join her for this powerful mission that is about to start for a lot of twin flames in the year 2022 and for some of you guys perhaps it already had started okay but this is something that you are going to be doing with your divine counterpart in a physical union and i repeat that and i know that a lot of spiritual leaders are um 
you know they say uh, it's not possible or for some twins it's not but um, what I truly truly believe in my heart and also spirit has been guiding me is that yes you guys are going to be in that physical union because of this powerful mission an important mission that spirit has been assigning you guys or you guys have just been voluntarily wanting to assist okay assist the earth now I feel that also for the divine feminine, um, it says Lemurian seed cause and it says embracing sensitivity, uniqueness, living with grace. I feel like for a lot of divine feminine, this is the time when they are really embracing that divine feminine energy within themselves. Not saying that, oh, you know, um, I'm too sensitive, you know, or um, kind of like blaming themselves for that soft part of them. Okay. And as you guys know, we all have that masculine and feminine energy within ourselves, but sometimes you know or I should say for quite a long time the divine feminine has been oppressed because being um, being seen as sensitive or being seen as um, as someone who cares about other people as an empath um, it has been uh, condemned by society and also it's been seen as a weakness okay so I feel like she is really embracing that instead of um, you know perhaps thinking that this is her weakness she's now realizing this is actually her strength all right this is actually her strength and look at this beautiful um lemurian um crystal in the middle which means that there is a lot of downloads that she's doing at this time but in order to um you know ground the energies or bringing it here on earth she needs to really ground the energy or anchoring it and this is happening with the assistance of the goddess isis here oh my goodness guys this is quite powerful energies now what is going on with the masculine energy is that i feel like for a lot of them as i said their heart chakra is opening up to love they are definitely going to reach out to the divine feminine they might not even know exactly what you guys need to do but there is going to be reaching out there's going to be to opening up their heart and i feel like for a lot of masculines there is going to be that um, clearing of that karmic bond either with someone else or within the situations they want to leave their truth okay remember that the karmic situation doesn't have to be a karmic partner however for a lot of them they are um they are really freeing themselves from any chain that has been holding them back or any heavy um, karmic maybe uh, bond or situation that has been um, oppressing them or not letting them to speak their truth okay um, what i'm seeing here is that this is kind of like a throat chakra energy and it says karmic board clearing energetic clearing rewrite your story leave your truth like basically they want to um as exactly as it says they want to rewrite the history they want to rewrite their story like living their truth as opposed to like following what the mainstream mainstream uh, wants them to be or how a, an ideal divine masculine is so there is going to be also a lot of um, releasing of a karmic bond uh, for the divine masculine happening at this time because they really are going to um, use that throat chakra there's going to be that opening of it happening for them so they can um, speak truthfully okay about what they want about how they feel all right so there's going to be a lot of like reaching out to the divine feminine as well that i see because they really really want to be truthful not to themselves only but also for the divine feminine as well and also to the whole world you know they want to say this is what i want i want freedom i want this i want um i want to live my truth okay now uh, we also have the I am presence, light body activation, accessing the divine within. So you see how there is a lot of like activations happening for the divine masculine in order for them to come into the physical union with the divine feminine. But she might be right now really could have been like focused on her inner world. Okay. And now everything is manifesting in the 3D in a quite of a powerful way. So of course there's going to be chaos because a lot of people um here a lot of let's say um 
a lot of event like authorities that they do not want these manifestations they do not want people to stand up for what they believe in they want to they want people to still follow what they want them to um, follow or what they want them to believe okay so i feel that um right now it's this gateway is so important guys i don't know how to emphasize it more but make sure that you are going to take advantage of this energy do not get engaged with anything that um with anything like public try to like um, avoid anything that has to do with violence or you know watching like um, movies or going to places that there is um, aggression or there is um, but by all means also speak your truth as well I mean that doesn't mean that um, if you are speaking your truth that doesn't mean that it has to be with um, violence they are saying that do it peacefully and, and as you guys know around the world this is something that's happening a lot of people are are protesting very peacefully but look at how um, the authorities are dealing with people they are doing it with violence so um, avoid any kind of a situation this is what uh, spirit message is because for a lot of twin flames you guys might be very very much closely engaged with some of these um, uh, perhaps activities that are happening some of you guys could be activists so <laughs> this is the spirit advice of like you know be that peaceful warrior and speak your truth because it's going to be heard and um, love will conquer okay now the energy of the union um, you know what they are saying is that yes the mission is about to start with the order of um, Malk Zadek I don't know how to pronounce it as I told you guys maybe some of you guys know better and it says embrace by light mission uncovered don't give up so your mission with your twin flame or with your divine counterpart is about to be uncovered at this time you guys are gonna you guys are gonna come into uh, physical union maybe not knowing exactly what it is but as soon as you guys come you guys are gonna get more and more ideas or this mission is going to be uncovered for both of you guys so if things are if if the physical union hasn't happened yet do not give up this is the message do not give up do not give up on speaking your truth do not give up on um, uh, speaking from your heart and um, and staying in the present moment as much as possible um, I feel like for a lot of uh, masculines this is um, uh, this is what they are saying is that um, staying in the present moment like basically accessing that divine energy within is going to help them a lot around this time okay now we also have the stellar gateway activation so there is going to be this activation of this powerful um, spiritual gateway that's happening and it says infinite potential manifestation vortex so you guys are manifesting that um, union or reunion with your loved one because there is a really um, higher purpose into it okay so it's not because oh I just want to be with this person I just know this is going to be for a higher purpose okay so that's why you guys are getting all of these activations hold on a second okay and um there is going to be a lot of like initiations uh, depending on um, where in your journey you are um, remember that in the year 2022 there's going to be a lot of advanced souls uh, and twin flames are one of them that they are going to be um, called to get into that mission like this is going to be a really really powerful soul mission um, for a lot of light workers especially for twin flames and um, we have the Shambhala initiation it says retreating to recharge trusting in the process so if you know in the middle of this whole kind of like um, activations or this gateway that's opening up you might need to rest you might need to retreat okay so as I said avoid anything that has to do with the crowd or with the um, I don't know with pe with people who are trying to um, trigger you trying to make you angry by by purpose because remember that some of them they want to do that so then you will act from fear you will act from violence but 
stay in your heart and stay true and talk uh, from your heart okay we also have the house of amenti initiation secrets revealed treasures uncovered initiations you see how many um, spirit is talking about initiations this is what is exactly happening and um, i feel like a lot of these initiations are um, something that um, uh, has to do with um, the ancient civilizations because a lot of you guys that you are watching this you guys are old souls let's admit it that you guys have been uh, have seen so much during your soul journey and right now for some of you guys that you have been at the time of atlantis or lemuria these energies are going to be amplified for you guys because you guys are full of that um sacred knowledge you guys are right now being initiated to use that knowledge and also to use this um love that you have for each other in order to accomplish a very important mission here on earth so these energies are quite potent um, you have to be very very cautious or careful with it because other people might be trying to really trigger you or really make you angry um, but always always um, speak from your heart okay so a lot of beautiful initiations and we had a lot of activations um house of amenti this one has been mentioned in um, the emerald tablet by thought so um, take a look at that and look at how the energies are coming here i feel like it's like manifestation it's like um you know if there has been a secret if there has been it's almost like this connection is like uh, I don't know like a hidden treasure and spirit is going to uncover it for you even though maybe you wanted to give up I feel like for a lot of you guys you're like I'm giving up but you know do not give up if you are not seeing the immediate results right now this is not the time to give up this is actually the time when spirit is actually going to uncover your mission all right uncover a lot of treasures that has been hidden since the beginning that maybe you started your twin fame journey or divine counterpart journey okay so um there are also certain parts of the world that spirit is saying is going to have more of these um uh how to say like powerful um gateway gateway um energy or gateway activations is one of them is, that i'm seeing here is india okay so india is one of the places that i see and also egypt egypt and india and also some parts of um ireland england okay um and i'm also seeing us okay or north america um like most of like america regardless it could be like north america south america okay so some of these like locations are being also showed up but we're gonna take a look at it in more detail and see um don't get too caught up with the actual physical location because it doesn't really matter these gateways are actually spiritual so you can access it from anywhere at any time there's no time or location um to them however if you are in a certain location on earth then these energies could be more amplified for you or, or you might be accessing it easier because of the higher vibrational energy of that location such as um, some parts of egypt and i'm not saying all parts of it but certain parts of egypt india um, and as i said some parts of like england or it could be some other european countries as well but this is these are the energies that are coming powerfully but um, remember that if you're a twin fame you're watching this from any part of the world these gateways are going to open for you guys on february 22nd and it's gonna last for for um quite a while like basically after this gateway is open you guys can definitely enter it and take advantage of these really higher frequency energies okay um i feel like you know the world is just gonna change after that after uh, february 22nd i feel like things are not going to be the same the world as we know it is just going to be completely different and it is for the best so i feel like there is um that divine plan for it and don't get upset if right now there's a lot of chaos it's meant to happen okay my loves wow this was quite something so let me see who are the ascended masters that are going to be assisting uh, the masculine and feminine at this time okay uh, 
Okay, let's see. We have the Lord Shiva. I told you guys, India. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing that. And it says, rise up, honor your inner force. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe. This is the energy of the Divine Masculine. Okay, with the Lord Shiva. And as, it's, as I told you guys, this Divine Masculines are standing up for what they believe in. Rise up, honor your inner force. Has, uh, steps are being given like all of these like steps into ascension or into assisting the earth to also ascend with humanity is being shown one one after another and it's like a lot of revealing a lot of revealing okay oh my goodness sorry guys this one just jumped out and we have Paul the venetian experiencing grace share your gifts with grace waves of inspiration and love coming to you for the masculine energy okay and he has this rose in his chest okay what else do we have okay we have krishna devotion trust your spiritual guidance your commitment has been recognized you are loved unconditionally wow what a beautiful energy and i feel like this is on the divine feminine side okay okay all right and we also have um, the shekinah they're also showing some parts of the middle east as well so i'm seeing israel or it could be like other parts of the middle east as well and it says the shekinah sacred self unleash your spirit express your gifts dance to the sacred rhythms of life you see both of them is talking about dance with the universe and this is the dance of the twin flames as well dance to the sacred rhythms of life dance with the universe so beautiful and there is that um there's a dove here there's that beautiful um holy spirit energy coming into this reading as well okay oh my goodness all right now let's see what else what other ascended masters are coming at this time okay we also have diana focus intention we also have freya phases and cycles and it says um think about what you desire set your sight high expect the best possible outcome for the divine feminine and we also have um, freya there is a beginning with every ending illusions are revealed and released wow this is just really right now quite powerful energies and we also have khatumi cloak of wisdom you already know the answer you seek trust what you know okay and we also have odin psychic insight your third eye is open see the truth of what it is follow your intuition okay and also i'm seeing like um norwegian uh some part of norway is also being showed up let's see the energy of the union for the ascended master what is going to be showed up and we have um serenones life force express your driving passion sensual and sexual powers are increased okay what else do we have we also have um kalima uh, and it says facing fear major spiritual changes are unfolding this is your chance to soar okay and i think i'm gonna get one more card for the union and let's see who the mass and the master and we have sanat kumara light activation shine your light your inner internal guidance is coming through loud and clear okay so what else they are telling me here is that for the divine masculine i feel that um his third eye chakra is also opening up he's seeing um the truth of the situation that they are in either it could be um i feel like it's also not only on a personal level but also on a global scale as well so if they are let's say listening to news or seeing something on the mainstream they're not believing it because they know that inside their heart or they know they are seeing something that they haven't been seeing before and that is to see that with their third eye okay they are seeing the truth of the situation and not only that a lot of people are also exposing um what is happening around the world and for them also on 
on a personal level i feel like a lot of them are seeing other people's intention including their karmic partner maybe they have been cheated on maybe they have been lied to and now they are seeing the truth of it so they cannot be fooled anymore this divine masculine and i feel like he has like a really really right now um his third eye chakra is showing him what the truth of each situation is okay and um maybe for some of them they have been seeking they've been looking for the answer for a really long time but spirit is telling them to trust that inner knowing that they have they know what to do and they have the answer okay and it says um you already know the answer you seek okay so and um, it's also very, very interesting because we have the transcendence and it says, rise up, honor your inner force. The steps are being given, dance with the universe. You see this divine masculine is really stepping up to his power. You have that Kundalini awakening happening with the Cobra here um, and Lord Shiva. And look at um, his third eye as well. And also the moon, which means that talking, you know, from his intuition, seeing with his third eye and also like basically trusting that intuition, you know, and it says close cloak of wisdom. You already know the answer. You say trust what you know. So a lot of them are clear cognizance, meaning that they just know things. Okay, and I also see that there's going to be a lot of gifts that are being activated for the Divine Masculine, especially that third eye, and there are also other gifts that they are going to be sharing with the Divine Feminine. So both of them, basically, their energies are very much in parallel, because look at um, what it says here. <clears throat> it says, um, express your gifts, unleash your spirit, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. And it says, share your gifts with grace, waves of inspiration and love, inspiration and love are coming to you. So, <clears throat> and there is a rose and, uh, and, um, and the dove. I feel like this is the energy of the feminine and feminine and the masculine coming along very, very strongly. <clears throat> Hold on a second, guys. Okay. <clears throat> all right now i think i needed um uh, let me see how many did i get okay no it's fine all right now um i also see that you know remember guys like all of these ones are just really talking about like listening to your intuition and especially with the divine masculine because his psychic abilities are really really right now um blossoming right now or i feel like a lot of his psychic um powers um are being activated or reactivated and it says your third eye is open see the truth of what it is follow your intuition exactly what is happening here with the third eye with the lord shiva okay so i feel like for a lot of uh, masculines there's um that um ascended master whether you know it depending like which part of the world they are in i mean you know you could be like um in india you could be like in norway norway wherever you are i feel like there's going to be an ascended master assisting you and doesn't really matter what culture you belong to okay um however i feel like maybe for some of you guys there's going to be assistance from that um with the ascended master that you are familiar with okay for instance lord shiva um for india okay and odin is um uh, for um, like let's say more um, like Norway or more like European parts of the world okay but doesn't really matter because as I said these are energies and ascended masters they work with all sort of like you know people from different cultures and different backgrounds doesn't really matter because it's all consciousness and it's all energy so you might be even like let's say in India and working with Odin or with um, Paul the Venusian some of the ascended masters okay now um <laughs> Uh, for the divine feminine is really beautiful as well because um i feel like for her as i said she had freed himself from a lot of um restrictions that maybe the society has been putting on her on what an ideal divine feminine should be like she should look like this she should be thin she should be like this or i don't know so 
whatever it is i feel like she is honoring herself she is realizing that she has a lot of gifts to offer to the world along with the divine masculine and both of these energies are going to create really really powerful uh, ways to accomplish the mission itself okay um and um yeah i feel like for a lot of like feminines they could be like working with um the phases and cycles of the moon all right there are a lot of like spirit animals are also being showed up i mean there's a crow but it's also talking about that um high priestess energy coming into this um i feel like I feel like the divine feminine she knows exactly what is happening right now and um, I also see that for a lot of you guys that you have been very devoted to this journey spirit is saying that your commitment is being recognized by spirit don't think that all of it is going nowhere or don't give up on your journey because with this powerful gateway you are like basically guaranteed to step into mission into the mission with your loved one it was promised to you it was something that um not even in this lifetime okay it was something that you guys are meant to do together and it's um basically we could say um it's eminent okay now what else they are telling me yeah and it says um phases and cycles and it says there's a beginning with every ending illusions are revealed and released so if she had any kind of a um, illusion about the journey like you know there is a lot of like how to say um uh it's the three of five journey or divine counterpart journey is very controversial so whatever that maybe she believed that it is is being removed like a lot of illusions around um maybe for some divine feminines they thought that the twin flame journey is just a romantic connection or maybe for others they had other um, perception of it but all of it is is being um revealed to them okay um for the divine feminine that i see okay now this is so beautiful because you see how the energies are very much like kind of um in parallel um but i feel like divine feminine she has been in her in this like energy for um quite a long time like she is honoring herself and says the sacred self unleash your spirit express your gifts she has been doing that i feel like she has been expressing her gifts to the world and right now uh, masculines are also being encouraged to do that yeah they're being encouraged a lot of them are like quite artistic okay all right um i'm also seeing italy yeah i'm also seeing italy as well and um uh, okay i mean for some of you guys yes there are some names that are actually coming up very very strongly like diana and there's also shakina freya and all these names that are coming um that could be like a um, very specific message for some of you guys and you know just um um take what resonates okay and leave the rest now the energy of the union what they are saying here is that um this kind of like powerful activation or gateway is something that is going to manifest itself in the treaty world so there is going to be that energy of like very much wanting to come together as a physical union and therefore there's going to be a lot of sexual energies also being activated and this is just the passion that the feminine and masculine are feeling for each other so um, even though a lot of people uh, might say that it has nothing to do with sexual part aspect of the journey but it is sexual um uh basically sexual union or reunion um within um the twin flame energy is also important because this is also going to create that powerful um kundalini awakening or that powerful energy of love which is going to um, basically help both of them to express themselves on a physical level but also bringing that um 
passion that they feel for each other um, basically having it on a physical level is also important and part of the journey so do not think that it's a bad thing okay because a lot of people believe that it's not a good thing but it's actually a beautiful part of the journey as well to have those passion for each other that sensual and sexual powers and it says it's increased at this time because it is a life force it is a way that these two energies can be um, uniting together all right um, we also have um, Sanat Kumara light activation shine your light your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear so for both of them they are going to be um, guided to come to this union or reunion there's going to be a lot of activations light activations um, and this light activation is about the gifts okay that they have and um, they are going to basically share these gifts in order to bring something even um, higher than themselves something even more powerful than themselves all right both of them are going to facing a lot of fears that they had perhaps and it says major spiritual changes are unfolding this is your chance to soar look at that with Kali, Kalima because I mean look at um, all of these uh, skeletons and meaning that she has been shedding a lot of like these old energies or things that she didn't need in order to basically step into her mission all right um, facing the fear maybe any kind of a fear that maybe both of them had about either uh, the connection it could have been about it could have been about anything like both of them are basically facing these fears that could have been internal as well all right so beautiful okay so these are the energies that i'm seeing that's happening on a 5d and i think that i will also continue that on a um in a membership site as well so join me there if you're also being guided to i'm gonna get a little bit of a of a 3d energy as well here and then we are done with the reading i hope that you guys are getting some of the information of like what exactly is happening right now okay let's see spirit please tell me what is what else is going on here all right we got it oh my god we have the creation okay this is the ace of stars okay and um, we also have the queen of angels visionary for the feminine we also have the eight of stars the surge okay we also have the shadow and we also have the beginning or the initiation oh my god this is so powerful this is extremely powerful okay so i feel like this is the energy of the union actually and um, this is also the energy of the union and the fear is the shadow um, for the divine masculine that i feel like he is overcoming that all right now I feel that as a spirit is saying the divine feminine has a vision that she knows is going to come true um, I feel like she already knows what is ahead when it comes to the year 2022 and also the vision that she has about her life with her divine masculine and overall about the world okay now with the masculine you know they are really really like overcoming the shadow within themselves there's a lot of um capricorn and aquarius energy but i'm not going to focus too much on the uh signs here okay and i'm also going to continue this on the membership side i hope that you guys um enjoyed this um powerful uh gateway reading i'm also gonna give you guys a message from a spirit and then ending this okay We have number six here okay we have number six which means that this is happening in the year 2022 and um, the year of love the number six um okay let's see what is the spirit message is about it all right okay what do we have here it says service 
Oh my goodness, it says you stop using uh, the universe to try to get what you want and start asking love to use you. You offer all and want to be of service. Ironically, many desires become fulfilled without grasping or manipulation. This is all about the service to humanity. And I feel like this is, uh, you know, the mission. There's going to be a new beginning happening for both. And this is like, a, I don't know, another level of this um, initiation from spirit to rising above. Um, going towards the light and also allowing that um, there's a lot of like um, feminine energy here which means that both sides are being encouraged to embrace that feminine part of themselves um, in order to come into service to humanity and also to them to each other okay and also to each other this is beautiful wow you stop using the universe to try to get what you want and, and start asking love to use you you offer all and want to be of service oh my god this is crazy okay my loves i hope that you guys enjoy this reading and um, actually i don't know maybe i should get get you guys some charms as well um but um i think yeah, let me get you guys some charms too. I know you guys really love it. So let's get some of that too. Okay. Now let's see. Okay, we have like a, we have like a police car. It's very interesting. A lot of like issues with like authorities, but it also could be like someone maybe working in. Oh my God, twice. Something has to do with like the government or something legal. Like especially like right now, there's a lot of if you guys know, there's a lot of like protests around protests around the world. So dealing with the police, perhaps I don't know. Especially for the divine masculines, we have letter M, letter R, letter T, and we also have um, separation one to two years. Maybe you guys have been separated. And we also have Singapore, China, Taiwan all right and um letter p as well what else do we have here okay we also have the treasure here so remember that spirit was mentioning like uncovering the treasures this is exactly what is happening i feel like you guys are going to know what treasure it is that um yeah very very interesting like basically moving towards um your destiny okay moving towards your destiny or ending there's like a lot of like endings which is going to give you guys that new beginning okay with your divine counterparts a lot of pisces energy also coming here uh, what else they are saying here Yeah, I'm also seeing a lot of gifts that both of you guys are going to be sharing with the world. Some of you guys are authors or writers. Some of you guys are going to have businesses. Um, some of you guys are activists. So whatever that it is, or even for some of you guys, I don't know. It's almost like as if maybe you are um, telling the truth by um, by like um, by using humor. All right, so. They're also talking about for some of you guys, maybe you have been like a priest um, in your previous lifetimes, especially for the divine masculine is being showed up. And uh, music for some of them is also being showed up, like being a, um, I don't know, they're saying that some of these masculines could have been like really powerful magicians even in the previous lifetime. Uh, basically, I also see this as a full energy, okay, as that zero or the new beginning as well. All right, we also have India or Asia, South Asia, East Asia, okay, especially India is being shot up very, very strongly. Okay, we also have letter K. K. 
okay and um we also have the hospital for some of you guys maybe your nurses or um or maybe healthcare providers we also have letter Y and letter Z, okay? A lot of like music. So I feel like maybe both of you guys are really musically talented. There is Kundalini awakening. There's a Kundalini awakening happening for the divine masculine, there's no doubt. But also year of snake for some of them. We also have Aquarius, letter R, letter B, Libra, fall season. So it could be like union for some of you guys that are happening if you're Libra or Aquarius in your chart. It's kind of like a, a confirmation here. Okay, what else? It says, um, do you remember our song is playing in my head now? I'm sending you messages via music. Listen carefully. So yeah, I told you guys there's something about music here. So I feel like the messages might be coming to you guys via music, definitely from your divine counterpart we also have aries energy here and uh what else do we have here they also have uh, please be patient uh, with me as i'm going through transformation okay this is from the divine masculines and definitely they are going through that you also have letter o and year of rabbit is being showed up um yeah but definitely look at all of these uh, music like you know and uh, there's music notes and also there's like a musical instrument so there is something like a message might be coming via that we also have letter n as well okay all right my loves i think that these are the messages that spirit show and it says keep calm and kill zombies <laughs> oh my goodness okay all right my lovelies i think that these are the energies that are coming and um, i hope that you guys enjoyed it i'm sending all of you so much love until next time